Hey everybody, just a quick disclaimer, uh, so some of the stuff in this is toxic and make sure you dispose of it correctly. Anyway, so we're adding water to a, a vessel. Now, well, this vessel contains nothing, because uh, <laughs> I haven't urinated in it yet. Now this could be water, or it could be urine. You can't really tell with the light behind it, because it kind of makes it look yellow, like semen, I mean urine. And now this is Kool-Aid. Now Kool-Aid's really yummy. Now don't drink this though, because it'll probably kill you. Kool-Aid, also known as copper sulfate, is extremely toxic. Now, um, Kool-Aid's actually completely safe and unrelated to copper sulfate, but they're one and the same, let's be honest. Oh, yeah! Alright, I'm gonna add some sulfuric acid to my bong water bottle jar number two. And, um, make sure you be careful when you add the, uh, the, the, the acid. You don't want to go ape, you know. <laughs> but that's a champ. Get some magnesium, and uh, add it to your water, or your sulfuric acid in water. The, yeah, yeah! Alright, now the, as the urine bubbles away, we're just gonna give it a stir. Here's what our battery is gonna look like. Alright, so grab an alligator clip, and attach it to a strip of magnesium. You should have a lot of this stuff around. It's very good! Now attach the other alligator clip to a long piece of copper. This is just some copper... The, the tubing? I don't know. Alright, now here's the magnesium. Oh, not bad! And here's the copper. Oh, not bad! Now, here are our alligator clips. Now, we're gonna hook them onto an LED. And make sure you don't accidentally cl clip your tip with these. They hurt very bad, because they're all... They, they have, like, alligator teeth, hence the name. Alright, whoa. Everything went white. Sorry about that, I just cemented on the camera. Alright, so I've hooked my LED up, and, um, it's not glowing. This didn't frickin' work! What the fu? Wow, I found this article on, uh, education.gov, and it says that the ions are able to move through the, uh, salt bridge, and then the, uh, electrons flow through the wires. That's pretty good. Alright, uh, so, I guess we need a salt bridge. You can actually use table salt for this, not just some weird ionic salt. Oh, yeah! Alright, so I'm dissolving some table salt in water. Here we go. Oh, yeah! Alright, get a tissue paper, roll it like this, and jam it in your salt. Alright, lay your tissue paper across like that on the salt, you see the salt bridge? Oh, yeah! Alright, and here we are! Huh, check that out! Not too bad! Alright, I've turned off the light, and wow, that's actually pretty bright looking. Not not too bad! Uh, I mean, if you think about it, it's just water, water, stuff dissolved in it, and metal chunks in it. Oh. Alright, so I've hooked it up to my multimeter, and it looks like we're getting about 1.9 volts. Not too bad! Alright, here's my little setup. I think that's pretty cool, huh? I uh, made an LED light up with that. Anyway, uh, this is just my saltwater diarrhea. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? Bye!